Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be comparing two of my absolute favorite sunscreens. They're unlike anything you've tried before, most likely. I'm gonna compare them, I'm gonna give you options between the two, and help you decide which one you should pick for your daily skincare routine. So let's jump into it. Before we get into it today, I wanna to thank you guys for helping to grow this channel, for leaving comments, for liking the videos, and sharing them with your friends. The growth that I've seen here on YouTube has been fantastic, and I enjoy the chance to educate and to inform and hopefully to entertain a little bit, and I hope you get that out of it. If that's the case, you know, leave me some comments down below, share the videos with others, and help to you know let me know what you want to see next especially in these longer videos where i'm going to be able to compare products where i'm going to be able to cover certain topics of skin disease and treatment in a little bit more detail i want to make sure that i'm you know answering the questions that you guys have so today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite sunscreens because they're totally different than anything else that you've tried i've said for a long time that the best sunscreen is the one that you like to use I can recommend a sunscreen to my patients or to you on the internet all day, every day, but if you don't like the smell, the feel, the texture, whatever it is, you're not likely to use it. So even though it could be one of my favorite sunscreens, if it's not one of your favorites, you're not gonna use it every day and you're not gonna get the benefits of daily sunscreen use. So I like to bring new options to the table, things maybe you haven't tried, things that I've come across that I've become fans of, so today there's two sunscreens in particular that we're gonna compare. The first one is a brand that you're likely to be familiar with, which is Supergoop, and the Unseen sunscreen has become pretty popular. They are one of the original makers of a gel or a transparent sunscreen. The Unseen sunscreen has uh, no fragrance, no white cast to it whatsoever because it's not white even when it comes out of the bottle. So the Unseen sunscreen comes in two sizes. This is the bigger size at 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces. And you can see here a little bit as it comes out that it is just kind of a milky but clear color to it. And as you rub it in, there's absolutely no white cast whatsoever. This leaves a very silky finish. It feels great on the skin. Some other features in particular of this sunscreen is that it is an SPF 40 sunscreen. So it definitely meets the recommendation of dermatologists to be a 30 SPF or higher. This also is water resistant for 40 minutes. So you can put this on, allow it to set on your skin for 20 minutes ideally, and then you can go out, you can swim, you can sweat, work out, work in the yard, whatever it is you wanna do, but you should get 40 minutes of water resistant protection. So that doesn't make it necessarily waterproof. There's no sunscreen that can claim to be fully waterproof, but this will give you some protection as you get out in the water or get sweating. The Unseen sunscreen also does not have any added fragrance, so it's really not an overpowering smell. It does not smell like your typical sunscreen, like if you were to go to Walmart, especially and buy the Equate brand, which is actually quite good, by the way. It offers great protection, and the Equate brand sunscreens have even been some of the top leaders in Consumer Reports testing. But this doesn't smell at all like a typical sunscreen. In my opinion, makes it very easy to use. This would be especially good for anybody who has facial hair, any guys, because it's not gonna cake up and get white in your beard line or anything like that. So the Unseen sunscreen is definitely become one of my favorites. As far as price goes, for this 50 milliliter bottle, you're gonna be paying $34. So it's not inexpensive as far as a sunscreen goes, but sunscreen is one of the most important steps that you can do in a skincare routine. So in my opinion, it's worth finding a sunscreen that you really like to use, and it's worth the money that you would spend on it if it's one that you truly will use every single day. Now here's the competitor that we're going to be talking about today, and I've actually been using this one longer than I have the Unseen sunscreen from Supergoop, and that is the Invisible Daily SPF from Mantle. So Mantle is a skincare company that was started by Caramel Brown and his co-founders, um, Irene and Pete, and they have really got a, a formula that I'm a big fan of. They really make their market men who shave their head, um, they're really encouraging people to be proud of their skin, whether they're bald, whether they have hair or not. I actually do sell this one in the clinic because I've been such a big fan of it. And to declare a conflict of interest for you, I do serve as an advisor to Mantle. So I, do, I don't make money by talking about their sunscreen, but I do advise them and I have done social media work for them, which I received compensation for, but this is not a sponsored video. I really just enjoyed this product quite a bit. 
So let me give you a few of the details on the Mantle Invisible Daily SPF. First up, this one also is a clear formula. So as we pump it out here, you can see that it has a clear finish. It is a gel type sunscreen. It actually is not quite as milky as the Supergoop sunscreen. Um, it is more clear as it goes on. But as you rub it in, it has a very similar velvety, very smooth texture. It's not going to leave any white cast whatsoever. It feels great on the skin. And this leaves you with a little bit of a matte finish which is why it's a really good one for guys who shave their head because it doesn't leave you looking all shiny. When you put the mantle on, you can actually feel it set on the skin just a little bit more because it does have some hydrating properties to it, which is something that I actually like about it. It's not overpowering. They do have a little bit of fragrance in here. It does not smell like sunscreen, but it does have, in my opinion, a really refreshing scent to it. It's a very nice scent. I don't think it would be overpowering to anybody. Um, it may not be something that everybody will love, but it's definitely not a turn off in any way for me. Now let's talk about the stats of the mantle sunscreen. How big of a size do you get? This is what sets it apart in my opinion. This is 98 milliliters instead of 53.3 ounces. And you're gonna be paying $27 for that at retail. So you definitely get a lot more bang for your buck out of the mantle sunscreen. You're getting basically double the size for actually a few dollars less, which is really attractive to me. Where the Supergoop sunscreen has that advantage is that this is not rated as water resistant. So if you're gonna be working out, if you're gonna be swimming, if you're gonna be doing yard work or something where you're working up a sweat, this isn't rated as being water resistant. So you'll need to reapply this a lot more frequently. So although the mantle may not be the one you want during those types of activities, it does make for a great daily sunscreen when you're going to and from work, to and from school, whatever it is that you're doing. And again, you get double the size for just a few dollars less. Let's take a minute also to compare active ingredients between the two. Both of these are chemical sunscreens. Now, if they were physical sunscreens, they would definitely have a little bit of a white color to them. It's really hard to take that away from a zinc preparation. That's just the nature of formulating a zinc sunscreen is that it tends to have a little bit of a white cast to it, unless it's micronized or formulated you know, in a really careful way, or you're adding in a tint, a color to it. So the active ingredients in the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen are avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. These are all the chemical blockers. They're all safe to use, and they all make great filters to protect you from UVA, UVB. As far as the mantle sunscreen, this is rated at a 30 SPF and it has the exact same active ingredients. So they may be just slightly different percentages, but this does give you the recommended 30 or higher. So this is at a 30 SPF, also containing avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. So when it comes right down to it, which of these two sunscreens should you pick? Well, there's good reasons to pick one or the other. And again, it's really gonna come down to what are your specific needs? I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these sunscreens. If you are really active and you're sweating a lot or you're working out um, in the yard, something like that, you probably want one that's water resistant and you may wanna go with the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. You are gonna pay more for it per ounce. So you're, you're paying almost double per ounce than you are with the Mantle Sunscreen. If you need a good daily wear and it's not so important to be water resistant, you can put on a water resistant sunscreen before you go work out or something like that, then the Mantle Sunscreen is definitely more cost effective. It's double the size for even less money. So I think that the advantage here for a daily sunscreen goes to the Mantle. And if you wanted to use a clear sunscreen for water activities or working out, then you have to go with the Super Goop. But it's only rated for 40 minutes, so you do have to be cognizant of that to reapply frequently. Personally, when I'm gonna be working out or doing yard work or something else where I'm working up a sweat, I like to pick a sunscreen that's water resistant at 80 minutes. And I'm usually not so concerned during those activities whether it has a little bit of a white cast. So when it comes for me personally, if I'm repurchasing either one of these, I'm gonna buy the Mantle sunscreen. And that's not simply due to the conflict of interest that I talked about before. It's really double the sunscreen for less money. You're paying more than double the price per ounce for the Supergoop sunscreen. In my opinion, I would go with the Mantle sunscreen and pick a different sunscreen that's water resistant for 80 minutes, but you really can't go wrong with either one in the long run. Find the one that works well for you, for your skin type, and make sure you're just getting something on the skin every day.
I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this review between the Mantle Invisible Daily SPF sunscreen and the Supergoop Unseen sunscreen. Let me know which one you guys like if you've tried either one of them and what questions you have down in the comments below. Let me know other products you might want me to review or compare and I'll make sure to make video content around that for you guys. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for following the channel.